Tommy Dodd Stadium in Georgia's capital city of Atlanta. These teams are taking the field for this exciting game. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Tulane Green Wave and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And here come the Yellow Jackets. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Green Wave are going to have a rough time on the field in this game. I want to hear what Kirk Herbstreet thinks. Well, I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close at all. Tulane has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. Well, Lee, in my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Yep. No question, Kirk. Georgia Tech is going to go after the defensive front early and just pound them. Kirk, don't be surprised if these guys don't run for 400 yards in this football game. Easy win. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. Tulane has the ball teed up, and we're ready for kickoff. Kicks it deep. Number five fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three Hunt. wide. Hunt. 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 Number 13, little toss to the right. Nice spin move. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And that was a big mistake on that run. Yeah, he tried to make something out of nothing. Nine out of ten times you're going to end up hurting your team by doing something stupid like that. Second down, and they got 15 for the first down. Ball on their own 15. Tulane lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 13 tosses to the left side. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. They're down in seven, ball on their own 23. Tulane lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. He lets it go. Complete. Crosses midfield. The 40 at the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. They hooked up for the big play. The coaches do a good job of getting this receiver the ball. They design plays specifically for it, like the one we just saw. And the end results are huge chunks of yardage and touchdowns. And he tacks on the extra point with less than four minutes to go in the first to score. Georgia Tech, seven. Tulane, nothing. Georgia Tech to kick. Number 16 and number 80. Back deep to return. Kicks it off. Brady fields it at the two. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. 
Tulane lines up with three receivers. Number 17 steps back to pass. Number 17 is going to be sacked for a loss. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration got there and boom, he went down. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed right on top of the quarterback. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Number 17 drops to throw. Let's it go. And that one's fallen incomplete. It's third down at 14 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The green wave. Line up with three wide. Number 17, back to pass. He's looking. He's looking for his man, and it's incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. Fourth and 14, ball on the 15-yard line. They line up to punt this one away. Didn't get all of that one. Number 41, signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 46. Excellent field position to start the drive. Georgia Tech sets up in the eye. Number 13 on the option. He fakes a pitch. And he's taken down at the 28. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense when they're clicking. It's first and 10, ball on the 28. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. And they make the stop at the 23. The quarterback keeps it and gets five yards. It's second down and five to go. Ball in the 23. The Yellow Jackets set up in the gun. Number 13 drops back to pass. He passes it. Incomplete pass. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 23-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back. He unloads it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. That one should have been caught. Oh, man, that really irritates a quarterback. He did his job to get the ball there, and the receiver blew it by dropping it. Fourth down and five, ball on the 23-yard line. Number 87 lines up for the field goal. It's up. And he got it. Georgia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 80 fields it at the two. Number 
They'll take over at the 19. Six DBs in the lineup. Number 17 drops back. Let's it fly. And second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. 4 3 defense. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Defensive lineman was in the backfield on that one. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 19. The Yellow Jackets line up with six defensive backs. He throws it. Incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball on the 19. Number 31 back to punt. Number 41 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 49-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 49. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. Number 41 with a takedown at midfield. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Second and nine coming up here. Ball right around midfield. The green wave. Put four men up front. Number 13, back to throw. Rolls to the left. And he just gets rid of it. I think the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense. Getting a good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball right around midfield. Number two, alone in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. Number five tips it away. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. Fourth and nine coming up here. Ball on the 50. Number 80 awaiting the return. Looks. He lets it go. Number 84 has it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. Tulane lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number three brings him down at the 31-yard line. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Georgia Tech, 10. Tulane, nothing. Now the teams have switched sides, and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. Second and six, ball on the 31. Two tight end set. The ball carrier, a little juke. Break one. They'll bring him down at the 10. When you break one like that, you've got to give credit to the offensive line.
Tulane comes out in a 4-3. Number 13 with a takedown at the eight-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The green wave come out in a 34 defense. Number two takes a handoff. Number 85 brings him down at the three yard line. A five yard pickup for the tailback. See if they can punch this one in. Let's it go. And it's incomplete. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what, the defense was not about to let him score there. This should be an easy field goal. There's a penalty on the play. The kick is up, and it is good. Holding. Holding. On the offense. On the offense. Ten yard penalty. Still, still, still fourth down. Fourth down. Right. Fourth and 12 coming up. Ball on the 13 yard line. Number 87 is lined up for the kick. It's up. And it splits the uprights. Georgia Tech to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number 16 fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Defense lines up, eight men in the box. On the ground, up the middle. Number 58 with a takedown at the 23. Holding, Holding. on the offense. On the offense. Ten yards, Ten yards. Ten yards. Ten yards. still goes down. down. First and a mile, ball on their own 12. The green wave, come out in the shotgun. Back to pass, he's looking for his man, tipped away. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. I've got to see that one again. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 12. Georgia Tech comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. Looking. He passes it. And it's knocked away. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 12-yard line. The green wave set up in the gun. Number 17 drops to throw. He rolls out to the right. He unloads it. Sheds that one. 
Number 51 brings him down at the 42-yard line. Your reaction to that pass play, Coach? Well, anytime you get a first down, you're happy. But in this case, you get a first down and then a bunch of yards on top of that. Ha! You're ecstatic. First and ten, ball on the 42-yard line. Number 17 is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's knocked down. And he's lucky that wasn't picked off. And second down and 10 to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. On the ground, up the middle. Number 42 with a takedown at the 49. A nice seven-yard run by the fullback. It's third down and three to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Georgia Tech comes out in a 4-3. On the ground, up the middle. Number 92 tackles him for a loss on the play. Georgia Tech calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Fourth and four. Ball right around midfield. Tulane lining up the punt. Didn't get all of that one. Number 41 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 23. They'll start this drive at the 23-yard line. Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. Number 13 back to pass. He's looking. He throws it. And it's caught. Holding on the offense. 10-yard holding. Still first down. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 13. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. He spins, and he's hammered down. Couldn't get anything out of that. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it out there. Number 13. Pats it down. The corner almost came up with a big turnover there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense and not playing offense. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 13. Georgia Tech will line up in a jumbo set here. Hot, hot. And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. The Green Wave call for a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Fourth and long. Ball on their own 15. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 80 calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 43-yard line. Hey. 
They'll take over at the 43. Number 17 with three wide receivers. Number 17 drops back to pass. Looks. He lets it go. Complete. Brought down at the 37-yard line. Tulane takes a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 17 drops back. He fires left side. It falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. The Yellow Jackets bring in the nickel package. Incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved. As you can see, he's upset here with himself. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 37. The green wave. Come out in the shotgun. Number 17, back to throw. Pumps once. And it's caught. Number 23 brings him down at the 31. Fourth down, Coach. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. Fourth and four. They're in field goal range. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it's right down the middle. And that was not an easy kick, guys. Forget about it. This kid can make it from 60 yards or further. Tulane to kick. Here's the kick. Number five fields it in the end zone. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Georgia Tech 13, Tulane 3. Georgia Tech got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. Number 80 fields it at the two. They'll get the ball here at the 27. Defense lines up in a 4-3. He drops back. He's in trouble. And it's incomplete. Second and ten, all on their own 27. The green wave, line up with three wide. Drops back to pass, lets it go. And he can't make the catch. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 27. Yeah. 
the Yellow Jacket. Line up in a nickel back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Fourth down and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tulane lining up the punt. Number 31 punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 41 signals for a fair catch. First and 10, ball on their own 47. Georgia Tech sets up with four receivers. Number two, the ball carrier. There's a missed tackle. He's at the 40. Number 13 with a takedown at the 29. A nice run there and another first down. Yeah, this is a delayed handoff to the tailback. And as you can see, he knows exactly how to handle it once he gets his hands on the ball. Also, Kirk, you got to give the offensive right. coordinator a lot of credit. A nice call there. Georgia Tech comes out with two tight ends. On the ground, up the middle. Number 99 brings him down at the 23. They'll get six yards. Right. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 13 lines up in the shotgun. Number 13 drops the throw. Number three hangs on to it. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. First and 10, ball on the 11. Number 13 is back in the gun. Back to pass. He passes it. There's a flag on the play. Tackle at the 11-yard line. Got an inverted in brace mask, mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yard penalty, second down. The green wave. Use a four-man front here. He drops back. He unloads it. Swatted away. Not a good decision here by the quarterback throwing into coverage. Georgia Tech in a four-wide set. Drops back to pass. Steps up, lets it fly. Incomplete pass. That time, the wideout just got too excited, too quickly, and forgot to catch the football. Boy, Lee, we continue to see this. It looked like he was ready to celebrate before he caught it. Number 87, lined up for the field goal. This should be a chip shot. It's up, and it's good. Georgia Tech ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 80 fields it in the end zone. Right. 
They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The green wave. Come out in the shotgun. Number 17. Back to pass. Number 8 with a catch. Just a yard there. Second and nine, ball on the 21-yard line. Georgia Tech comes out of the 4-3. They'll run the option. Lateral back. Gain of two. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 17 lines up in the shotgun. Number 17 steps back to pass. He throws it. Incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Fourth down and seven coming up. Ball on the 23. The green wave. Line up the punt. Number 41 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 47-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 47. The green wave. Put four men up front. Number 13 drops back to pass. Looking. Fires deep down the left side. Complete. Number 13 with a takedown at the 30. Got a stat for us, Coach. Why does this stat not surprise me? With that catch, his total yards for the day is over 100. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Two tight ends set. He's at the 20. Number 85 brings him down at the 16-yard line. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a good job by that big offensive line. No, it really was, Brad. And also a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16. Number two is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Number 13, hands off right side. Number 46 with a takedown at the 16. Nothing gained on the play. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 16. The Yellow Jackets line up in an eye formation. Number 13, back to throw. He's looking, throws it out there. Number 21 makes a catch. Number 13 brings him down at the one. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score. Georgia Tech, 23. Tulane, 3.
Georgia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 80 takes it at the four. They'll take over at the 21. Going with the shotgun here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He lets it go, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Second and ten. Ball on their own 21. The Yellow Jackets line up in a nickel back. Number 17 drops back. Looks. Fires across the middle. And it's knocked down. And the safety got a hand on it that time. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 21. The Yellow Jackets bring in their dime package. He drops back. He steps up. He guns it to the right. And it's caught. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. First and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. The green wave. Come out showing three wide. Number 17. Back to pass. Let's it go. And it's knocked away. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. Second and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Number 26 lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Number 17 steps back to pass. He's looking for his man, and he drops it. Third and ten. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The green wave. Line up with three wide. Complete. He's hit and got away. And they push him out at the 34. And they'll lose a yard there. Fourth down, 11, ball on the 34-yard line. The green wave, line up the punt. Number 31, punched it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 41, signals for a fair catch. They'll get the ball here at the 40. The Yellow Jackets line up with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Looking. Here comes the pressure. And it's incomplete. And he had a man wide open. Oh, boy. You talk about missed opportunities. That could have been a huge play. Second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Georgia Tech comes out in the shotgun. Hot, hot. Number 20 brings him down for a loss, and they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. 
And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on their own 35. Nickel defense. Back to pass. Lost this one out to the right. And it's caught. Number three with a takedown at the 37-yard line. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. It's fourth down now. 13 yards to go. Ball on the 37. They line up to punt this one away. Number 80 calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 25-yard line. They'll go to work at the 25. The Yellow Jackets use a four-man front here. Number 17 drops to throw. Complete. Just about three yards there. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. Three wide outs here. Number 17, back to throw. He passes it. Number 88 has it. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First and 10, ball on the 49. Tulane goes with the ace set here. First and 15 now. Ball on their own 44. Number 17. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. Tipped away. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time. Getting a hand on the football. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. The green wave set up in the gun. He drops back, fires a bullet out to the right. Number 83 hangs on to it, and down he goes at the 39-yard line. Not a bad play there. Not at all, and if this wideout can continue to make plays like this, allowing them to spread the ball around, this offense is going to be tough to stop. First and ten. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Tulane comes out with an eye formation. Nothing doing. Tackled for a loss on the play. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 17 drops back. Let's it fly. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third and ten. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Tulane comes to the line with three wide. Number 17, back to pass. Number 96 comes away with a sack. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring down the quarterback. He throws it. It falls incomplete. The defense stopped him. That fourth down play was very important as far as the big Mo is concerned. Now they have momentum on their side. Go for it. Right. 
They'll start this drive at the 40-yard line. The Green Wave, line up in a 4-3. Number 37 on the inside handoff, tackle at the 40. No gain. So it's second and 10, ball on the 40. Number two is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They hand it off. Number 13 brings him down at the 50 yard line. And he goes over the century mark with that run, guys. You know, Brad, he's had a great day, but credit the offensive line for fine blocking all game long. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 50. Tulane lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 13 still has it, and it's caught. So they get about four yards from play action. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Tulane comes out in a 4-3. Little handoff. Tries to juke. Number 89 with a takedown at the 45-yard line. Short little game there. Just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. Second and nine coming up here. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The green wave. Use a four-man front here. Number two on the handoff. Brought down at the 43. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Georgia Tech lines up in a double tight set. Takes off a tackle. Number 14 brings him down at the 37. Tulane calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Fourth and one coming up. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number 80, back deep to return. Number 80, signals for a fair catch. Sail down the punt at the one. They'll take over at the one-yard line. Tulane sets up in the eye. Number 38 takes the handoff. Safety! So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Georgia Tech 25, Tulane 3. up for the free kick following that safety. Number nine fields it at the 34. And that was a nice little punt return there. Well, Brad, that was a combination of a couple things. Some good blocks, but also the ability to avoid the coverage team by the return man. They'll get the ball here at the 49. First and 10. The green wave. Line up in a 
And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, it's obvious that the talent level of these two teams wasn't even close. Tulane actually played a good ball game today. They just didn't have the horses to match their counterpart. They need to start recruiting to build this program back up. Folks, thanks for tuning into this game. Our final score, Georgia Tech 25, Tulane 3. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.